If you're a fan of Ultimate Team and you want to jump into EA Sports UFC 3, I want to show you guys kind of what the premium packs are like, what the basic packs are like, and kind of how the pack odds are basically going to work. Now, first things first, if you pre-order the game, I'm going to show you guys also how to go ahead and uh, claim your pre-order reward. Now, you, get, you have a couple different options here. You have Conor McGregor, you've got Joanna, you've got Demetrius Johnson, you got George St. Pierre, and you have Anderson Silva. So you can claim whoever you basically want to claim. And tell me down in the comments below, who should I be claiming as my pre-order bonus? Go ahead and tell me why. Maybe I'll see uh, if one of you guys can persuade me to pick a certain person now as for the fight packs you can see you have a basic pack available for you you have a premium pack and you have a consumables pack for the basic pack you're guaranteed at least one fighter and one move item basically looking at five bronze or better items if you go to the premium pack you're guaranteed at least one gold item so again four bronze items at least one gold you can maybe get a couple silvers in there but more than likely at minimum four bronze one gold and the consumables pack will guarantee you at least one perk, one boost, and one fight bonus. Again, five bronze items or better. Guarantee at least five bronze. Could possibly get a silver or gold or a couple of each. Now, if you're curious about the UFC points, here's basically how it works. And I think I like how they did it for the most part. Now, you can see 100 points is 99 cents. But you notice I have EA access on Xbox One. So I get a 10% discount on pretty much every single price here. But again, 100 points equals basically 100 cents. 250 equals 250 and then you pretty much have that same little pattern continue until you get up here uh, to about 10 so at $10 you get 50 bonus points if you go to $15 you get 100 bonus points you see the kind of the trend going on here $20 you get two bonus points or 200 bonus points and then down here at 40 you get 600 and then it continues to go on here with a pretty significant bonus here at the end so what I'll basically do is I'm going to show you guys the odds for the basic pack kind of how that works and then we'll go into the five premium packs that I have so again 2,500 coins it's actually hold it down so I thought you had to actually press it but you hold it down and then it actually gives you the pack there so you can see it deducts the 2,500 points here's kind of what it looks like all right, so we got Jessica Penne. Uh, we got the Stockton Slap. I'm actually kind of hyped about that. I love that move. I'll definitely put that on my Creative Fighter ASAP. Uh, you have the Core Clinch moves, a Body Crane Kick, and then the Higher Altitude Perk, which I don't actually know what that is, but we'll check that out soon. Now, because of the version of the game that I have, I have a Premium Pack. So let's go ahead and see what these Premium Packs are again. We have five of these to open. Let's see what they have. So, oh, we got a couple of fighters here. So we got two fighters. We got a Silver. We got a Bronze. We got the Gogo Plata, which is a nice little submission move. We got a Toughness Boost. Okay. Can you actually, uh, you can actually look at these. So, this gives you plus 10 toughness, improves health regeneration during rounds, and increases health uh, recovery between rounds. So, that's sold. Uh, you have a value of about 50 coins for that one. There's actually a contract piece here. So, coin rewards and fights increased by 5.6%. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, not applicable to other reward types removed after six fights so it has a little bit uh, of a stretch to it but that's kind of cool that you get more coins for basically having that so we'll send all these to my collection really quick and then we'll go on to the next premium pack and we'll see what they can give us here all right second pack let me get something good here okay so we got again a bronze fighter we got the necktie power double leg takedown ground and pound which is a gold perk this should be good Plus three power during dominant ground positions removed after five fights. I'm not going to lie. I don't like the whole thing of removing it after five fights. I guess that's kind of like a balance thing and to keep you uh, buying cards. I kind of wish that these were something that you could get and then you would have them forever. What do you guys think about that? Tell me down in the comments below what your opinion on that is. I'm not a huge fan of that though. However, now second pack wasn't too bad. I hope we can get like a, a huge fighter that everybody wants to get. Let's see who we can pull here. Third pack was available to me. So Lauren Murphy. The ducking roundhouse. That looks pretty legit. Let's see if this is, uh, does this go away? So the move at least will stay. I guess it's the perks that go away, which maybe isn't that bad, but the move seem to stay. I guess it's the perks only. That will go. Superman jab will be fun to use. Uh, weathering storms. Again, this is 15 fights for a bronze one. Plus one to chin and body during a health event removed after 15 fights. And then we have a 4% uh, boost for contracts, which is uh, actually kind of cool. Oh, you can actually, <laughs> I didn't realize you could actually switch that. That's pretty sweet though. All right, we got two packs left. Let's see what's in these premium packs here. Something good is all I want right now. All right, we got Ben Rothwell. Heard of him. He's a silver fighter. Lead elbow. Body snatcher perk. Let's, uh, let's check that one out. Body hooks ignore. Negative two of opponent's body and removed after eight fights. Seems like silver is eight, bronze is 15, and then gold is six. A boost to the body and then a contract one. Again, this is the last pack. Give me a big fighter. Give me somebody I actually care about here. Let's see what we can get. Okay, okay, not not bad. I mean, we got a nice little contract boost here for three fights, but 
these these could have been a little bit better if you asked me but still i think it's kind of cool what do you guys think of the premium packs tell me down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more ultimate team make sure you guys crush the like button don't forget to subscribe for more ufc check the playlist on the screen and watch another one right now and i'll catch you guys in the next one something that's also pretty cool and i think it's actually new for ufc 3 is the ability to have sets in here now you have token sets and you have champion sets we'll get into the champion sets in just a second but let me go ahead and show you guys everything you have now if you're familiar with uh, fifa or madden or nba live or pretty much any ea sports title ultimate team sets basically allow you to take cards that you have and turn them into something that you might actually want so here for example you can trade in your spare items uh to get 100 coins uh here you have something else starter set two some sets will accept a wide variety of items while others like this set will require specific items go to your inbox to open your reward pack so after you redeem them they'll go to your inbox there's a couple different items here uh, i'll kind of show you what these look like redeem tokens this is also a really cool one here so earn daily tokens by completing daily objectives in Ultimate Championship and exchange it for wildcard tokens that can be used in place of any item in a set. So for example here, if we open this one, uh, there's 24 of these bad boys. If you go ahead, different three different pages, you do that, then you'll end up getting uh, a wildcard token that can be used in any actual set. Now let's see, you have gold moves, gold created fire item, uh, you got starter tokens, all that different stuff is available for you here. Craft tokens, let's see what these are. Exchange bronze items for a bronze token. Tokens can be crafted into packs or converted into other tokens. That's okay. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm down with that. Any way that you can, you know, play the single player and find your way or even play multiplayer and earn uh, the ability to earn more packs without having to pay anything. I'm totally down for that one. So these are upgrade tokens. You can turn bronze to silver, silver to gold, etc. Uh, pretty self-explanatory. But I think the big thing, though, is here. So these are champion sets. So you have McGregor, Demetrius Johnson, Nunez, uh, Holloway, Willie, St. Pierre, Whitaker, Cormier, and Miocic, who just came off a crazy fight against Francis Ngannou. If you click Miocic, for example, basically if you, you complete the set to earn a special elite tier, four stars, uh, Stipe Miocic fighter item that cannot be found in store packs. So basically you're going to have to put a lot of gold fighters in here. So for example, for this set, it's got to be Junior Dos Santos, a gold version, a gold Alistar Overeem, a gold Fabricio Verdum, a uh, gold Andre Orvlaski, and then Mark Hunt, another gold version. If you do all that, you get 5,000 coins, and then you get the reward pack, which is Stipe Miocic. Now, what's cool is they kind of said that these different sets are going to be changing. So maybe they're here for a little bit. Maybe Conor McGregor or, you know, uh, Nunez or Holloway or someone loses his belt and a new champion is crowned because... I don't know if McGregor's ever going to fight again, but let's say one of these guys loses their belt, basically. The new champion will come in here, and you can actually earn that champion, too. So maybe Holloway's here for a little bit, then he loses, he comes in. Maybe St. Pierre retires and a new champion is crowned. You could kind of get that new fighter. So you want to try to, you know, complete these as you can, get as many of these guys as you can, because they may not always be here forever.